working down in the States is, wow, everything's bigger, better, faster. It's great. If you uh, go to a set, okay, you get your own driver to go to your set with, and uh, they come pick up at the hotel and take you there. Same in Canada, but uh, you're, uh, hey, you'll have a dedicated driver to take you. They make sure you know where you're going. They get whatever you need for your dressing room, bang, bang, bang. You sit in there, you do that, and you meet and talk with people. And uh, it's, it's films the same. Films the same, both countries, it doesn't matter. They're still figuring it out, still trying to reinvent the wheel, and realizing that it was best when it was round, it worked better that way instead of triangular or square, or cut corners. But now the difficulty lies in all these different platforms that are stepping into the business, the, uh, the pay platforms. Um, uh, the COVID-19 testing platforms, the uh, information platforms, Screen Actors Guild platform. So there's there's five or six different people you have to deal with. You've got to fill out form after form after form after form. One to get tested, one to get paid, one to get a start and finish application for the film. A start of citizenship, a start of recognition, can this person work in the U.S.? You have to fill that out, send it into them. And so do you have to get a work permit every time you go down? Everybody does. You have to fill out a start finish <coughs> form for uh, your taxes. They used to be called H3s, but that's ancient when I did it. No, it's it called an W9 like... or some bloody thing. I don't okay. know what it's called. But the money they take in the U.S. on taxes I get, well, well, my agent down there, he takes each slice of the pie and they slide the rest across the table to me and I look at it and the Canadian government wants a chunk of that too. So I have to pay taxes on that there and here. Go figure. But and if I work down there under another contract, an escrow contract, with the, uh, before I even start the film, they'll, the money goes directly to my agents with the U.S. tax taken off it, and they put it into their bank account, and they send me a check, and I put it in my bank, and I declare it at the end of the year as U.S. earnings. The Canadian government wants a chunk of that, so <laughs> the States doesn't care about what I do up here. So it's, it's <clears throat> and why you do so much work in the States? Why did you never move down there? Did you I, think of it? No, I don't do a lot of work down there. You're always down there shooting something, aren't you? I was. You was? I haven't. Did you ever think of moving down? Oh, good Lord, no. Why? I don't like it. My agent said, you should move. Why don't you move to Los Angeles? And I said, no. She said, why not? <laughs> I said, good, Susan, the airport's only two hours <clears throat> away from here, where I live. I can be there, and I could be in LA in four hours. Oh, so don't have to do this stuff. Now, now they brought in the taping thing, which totally disgusted me. Instead of sitting there talking with somebody, you, uh, I think they brought it out at the same time as the tellers at the banks where they had to look at the TV <laughs> screen and talk to somebody sitting in the other room. Oh, it was funny, but uh, I didn't like that. Does that mean you're a Canadian, I hate to use this frame, a Canadian nationalist? that you wouldn't move down, or you just like where you live here? I'm a North American naturalist, a, pl a citizen of planet Earth. Doesn't matter, I lived here, I lived in England, I lived in South America. Far yeah, away you can have a Columbia. big pool. If you're in LA, you can have a big pool, you go to big parties, you no, could I go don't. to the beach. Come on, Graham. No, I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't go, you have to have a car. And besides, when everybody finishes, Nobody sees one another anyways. There's very few people. I know very few people down there that I stay in touch with. And they're genuine people. The rest are, my agent, she, would, she went down just for fun to an agent's convention in Los Angeles for the US agents. They all gathered and they have their say, yeah, annual drunken piss up down there. And 
She said, the backstabbing and name calling and smiling these people do at one another, they'll smile at you and the next minute they're cutting you to pieces. You know, I said, I, who needs that? I really don't need that. I'd rather live in my little small town and say good morning to somebody I don't know and perhaps strike up a conversation.